Got a giant. It's huge, 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 huge. Biggest shot of my life. Do not break off. What is up? I just got to the creek here and today I'm going to be doing some euro nymphing for rainbows or brown trout, preferably brown trout if I had the choice, but whatever eats the nymph pretty much. I would normally have done a lot more streamer fishing this spring, but it just really hasn't rained much. It hasn't really been great or ideal streamer weather. I'm still going to be going after some bigger brown trout hopefully. Got the euro rod across some big brown trout on it in the past, so we're gonna see what we can get after and hopefully catch a few fish. Ooh, massive brown trout. Oh my gosh. Massive. Another mid 20s. Come on, brother. Just stay on there. Just let him do what he needs to do. Oh, he's shaking around. Oh, there's another one with him. Another huge one with it. Another huge fish with it, same size as this one. That one, the other one might be a rainbow. Come on, brother. I want to bring him back here so he doesn't have to get under that rock. No! Why was I holding it so tight? What an idiot. I'm so dumb. So freaking stupid, guys. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid, dude. How can one guy be so dumb? Why am I putting so much pressure on him? Like I don't have, I'm not, I'm not any time restraint here. I'm not like, it's not like I have to reel it in in under two minutes. I'm just angry. Angry, angry, just dumb, just dumb. There was another fish with it, but it's gonna be spooked. That other one might have been a rainbow. It looked a lot lighter. Crap. That was another 24 inch brown trout. Why do I have to be so bad at fishing? Guess we'll try it again. I know there was another one in there. Looks like a rainbow to be honest. Just cast a few times. The back end where I last saw it. It's still just sitting right freaking here now. Yeah. 
got him. Oh my gosh, there's like three of them. And they're all huge. This one back here is bigger. Holy crap, these back here are huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. This guy's big, and there's two others. I'm not kidding. There's two others bigger than this one sitting at the back end of that hole. Come on, brother. This guy was jumping like a salmon. I'm not going to play this one too hard. Just let him go. You can get him in the net. Nope, not yet. Great, the net is stuck on my boot. That's perfect. There you go. Not even lying. Oh my gosh. This is still a big trout, though. Very big. Nope, not ready. I want to bring him back here just because it's not as deep. Control him a little better. And there's not any uh, obstacles really for him to get in. Let him go if he wants to go. Might be able to get him right here. Got him. That is a good sized trout, guys. Get him over here. Get the shallows. Oh my gosh, that is a beast of a trout still. And the one I lost first time, the one I lost the first time, guys, was, I think it was bigger than this, sadly. But this is still, a, okay. Oh, he popped off, perfect. All right, guys, not a great, there's not a great place for the camera, so I'm going to try to hold him up. There we go. Let me get a little closer here to the brown trout. There we go, guys. Look at that. Nice brown trout. I'm gonna get him released back in the water. Can't even grab him with one hand. Beautiful. Got a giant, huge, 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 huge. Biggest trout of my life. Do not break off. Do not break off. I 
I don't know where to go with it. Just gonna let him do his thing. Hopefully he's hooked good. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's huge. Massive, massive brown. So let him go. Do not put too much pressure, I've learned, right? Not too much, but not, not too little. Let the drag do the work. Let the drag do the work. Let the drag do the work. Big one, guys. Just gonna undo his thing. I'm gonna got to get him out of this deep cover first. Oh, yes, it's big. Oh, my. Come on, equipment, don't fail me. Can I go with him? Let him go. He does not want to come out of this deep stuff. We'll lull him into, we'll lull him back here. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Massive fish. Might be up there with my PB brown trout right here if I land him. Just gotta let him, let him run. Do not have heavy equipment on here. It's gonna be a long, long fight. Slowly walk back. Oh yeah, he's big, guys. Come on, line, stay together. Let him do what he wants to do. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. I think it's bigger than 24. He's definitely mid 20s. Oh my gosh, he has so much girth to him too. There you go. Play him here, I really, this is when you really need somebody here with you to land him. Okay, I don't want him over on that bank. Get the net out. No, I don't want the net to mess with me. Just gotta bring his head up. Just bring him back. Bring him back slowly. Oof. Could have been bad if I'd got that nymph stuck in that net. I could have had him there if I had somebody else here. It's all right. It's all right. He's going back up. Let's not lose the net because that's my only hot shot. He's a tank, true giant. 
There we go. Come on. There it is. This is my shot. Nope. Maybe. Just bring it back slowly. Slowly bring it back. Slowly bring it back. Nope. Nope, he doesn't want to come yet. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's going back up in the hole. Not ideal. So let him go, though. Let him go. Let's rail up some line line. Not the net again. I need the net. Come on, buddy. Here we go. I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. Get the head in. Nope, nope, nope. Got him. Ooh. He's a giant, guys. A behemoth. A behemoth of a trout. Holy crap. He's a behemoth. Oh. That might be my... TV trout guys. Oh my gosh. That might be high 20s. Oh gosh, my rod's gonna break. I don't watch out. I mean, look at the girth on that guy. Look at that. Unreal. Look how big he is. Holy cow, he's huge. That's my biggest brown trap, definitely in terms of weight. I have my measuring tape on me. We'll get a measurement. Let's unhook him first. Oh my gosh, I can't even put my hand around it. This is the biggest brown I've seen other than maybe John Sturdy. This is high 20s, guys, for sure. I hooked her. Perfect. About as good as I can get. Ow! In terms of the camera. I measured this guy. This is my PB brown trout. I didn't get a great measurement on him. I might try it again. He was around 29 inches. Unreal. I mean, the girth on this fish is huge. Oh my, like I can't even pick him up. For up. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. Look at that, guys. Unreal. I mean, this is un, an unreal fish. I'm gonna get this girl back into the water. I think it's a female. My PB brown trout for sure. High 20s, probably between 28 and 29 inches. That's my guess. It was definitely 28. I think it might have hit 29, but it's tough to measure it by yourself in the net. I might try it one more time before I release her. But. Unreal. This is this is about as good as it gets. Alright guys, and that is my biggest brown trout ever. I measured it again, it was somewhere between 27 and 28 inches, actually not quite 29, but I mean, still just a massive brown trout. I mean, they just really don't get much bigger than that, to be honest. So it's just unreal to catch a fish like that that's been in a, a creek for well over 10 years, probably. But it's just an unreal experience, unreal. I didn't think I would, I, I saw some trout, it was probably about that size in the hole, that I saw when I hooked that other one. So that might be the, the trout I saw. I'm just thrilled right now. That is three big browns on the day, including a PB. I mean, we're, I'm just gonna keep fishing. Hopefully it keeps up like this, but if I don't catch a fish the rest of the day, I'll be happy. That makes up for the brown trout I lost. Yeah, I, I don't think it was quite that big, but I don't know.
All right, guys. So we are back at the scene of the crime. It's probably been two weeks since he caught those fish, and I saw the same footage you guys did. I saw the trash kind of lining the bank right here. So we came back and we filled up a trash bag, and we're gonna haul it out of here so that we can at least help do our part to clean this up a little bit. But hope you guys enjoy. Um, probably the most interesting part of this video and this fish being caught is that I actually caught this fish a little over two years ago and it was my old personal best so when I caught it two years ago it was in like the 26 inch range which is really hard to measure when you're by yourself but it was in the 26 inch range caught it on a streamer and I caught that fish probably two miles from here so a long ways from here and he caught it now uh, two years later and he caught it and it was 28 inches so it's grown approximately an inch a year give or take um, my measurement was super rough so it could have been bigger than 26 when I caught it two years ago I don't know but it's just interesting to see it's interesting to catch fish repetitively like that and the other thing I'd like to stress is like how big of a deal it is that he caught it two years later and that like catch and release works so if you notice the tail when Andrew caught the brown the bottom end of the tail um, has been rubbed off uh, uh, and that's from spawning so when I caught the fish, its tail was perfect, had no issues. And then when Andrew caught the fish, uh, its tail was destroyed. And that's a female brown, and that is a big female brown. So I don't exactly know how many le eggs they lay each year, but I can promise you that that brown trout has probably produced <laughs> innumerable amount of brown trout for this creek. So that just goes to show like how important like catch and release is, how important it is to take care of the fish, get a rubber coated net, keep them in the water. When you go to take pictures, take them out just briefly, let them go. They'll swim way strong. Andrew released it again. I'm sure it's possible that you could catch this fish another year from now, two years from now, depending on how old it is. It looked really healthy still. And just to know that there's just an enormous healthy female brown that is spawning year after year after year and is doing so because I released it. And who knows, someone before me could have caught it and released it. And that just shows how important that is to keeping a brown trout population alive and keeping them healthy and everything like that. So I wanted to stress that, wanted to pick up some trash, and I just wanted to see the hole because I personally haven't fished this hole in like, it's been at least two years. It might've, been, been, it might've even been more, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That is, uh, our second enormous fish this year. I caught a 30 earlier on. I'll leave that link this in this drift. I caught a 30 early on. I'll leave that linked in the description below so you guys can go check out that one if you want if you haven't already or if you want to. And yeah. Catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Mm -hmm.